If your ankle feels tight or stiff while walking, running, squatting, or going up and down stairs, this video is for you. I'm Dr. Jared, and in this video, I wanna share with you some of the most effective exercises you can do right at home to improve flexibility and mobility at your ankle. Let's start with a simple assessment that you can do right at home for your ankle mobility. This is going to tell us the amount of the limitation and then also tell us where that limitation might be coming from, which is going to be important for the exercises that I recommend to you later on. You're gonna to come to a wall and get into a tall kneeling position. Scoot your toes back about four inches from the wall or about one fist width. Now in that position, keep your heel glued to the ground as we lunge forward, try to push your knee into the wall. And you'll see that with that one fist, I can do that pretty easily here on my right side. If you can do that, what I want you to do now is scoot your toe, scoot your foot back just a little bit and try to repeat the test. There will come a time where you cannot lunge into the wall without that heel coming up. We need to figure out about what that distance is. If you have a ruler, that can help to quantify it. And so you'll see here on my right side, I'm approximately six inches from the wall and I can still successfully perform this test. Now, four to six inches is a normal range. Um, four would be a little tight, a little limited. Six is up into kind of the more mobile side of it. And so uh, right ankle, no problems for me. What's interesting is here on the left side, I've actually rolled this ankle in the past, um, back in college playing soccer. And so let's perform this test and compare on the other side. So again, one fist right in between my toe and the wall. Now as I lunge into that, that's a little bit tight, but I can still get there. What I'm gonna do is scoot back just a little bit and then perform the test again. And you'll see I scooted back too much. I cannot get into the wall from there. I'm gonna come forward and just find that range right about there. That's about where it's really tight on me. Now, if I measure that, you'll see that that is about four and a half inches. And so there's definitely an asymmetry there. It's definitely a lot tighter on the left as compared to the right. Now, the question that I wanna ask is, where is that restriction on you? Where do you feel that restriction? You're either gonna feel it here in the front, it's gonna feel like a pinch or a block in the front, or you're gonna feel it in the back, a tightness or a stiffness or a stretch. Now, for me personally, I get a block right here on the front side. It's kind of a, a catch, it's limited. That's where my limitation is. If that's your case, if you get a catch on the front, it tells me that there's a problem with the joint and the way that the ankle joint is moving that we need to address. If you're tight in the back, that tells me that it's a problem with the soft tissue, with your calves, with your Achilles, with just the range of motion that we have available. And so let's go ahead and address both of those issues. Now, if you are experiencing that pinch in the front like I was, it tells me that the ankle joint just isn't moving the way that it's supposed to. Uh, basically, your tibia and fibula, your leg bones, are supposed to come forward on your foot in order for the ankle to move normally. If that doesn't happen, that's what can cause that block in the front. And so what we need to do is mobilize those bones so that it moves better, so that it moves normally. This is how I like to do that. Uh, what we're gonna need is just a big thick band. Most gyms have these. If you don't have one, I've got it linked in the description down below. They're pretty cheap to pick up. What I'm going to do is anchor that here around my squat rack. Um, at home, you can anchor this around um, the foot of your bed works really well. And then I'm gonna put my affected ankle in there. Here in front of me, I've got a bench at home. You can get a chair. And we're just gonna bring your foot up onto that surface with some pretty good tension in that band. Now we need the band to be in the right spot in order for this mobilization to be effective. And so move it down as low as you can on your foot. It needs to be at least below these ankle bones. Now in this position with my foot supported on the bench, I'm going to lunge forward. My knee is gonna go as far as it can over my toe, just until I get some tightness, until that ankle wants to come up. You'll see I'm using my upper body. I can provide a little overpressure with that. And then we're gonna hang out here for three to five seconds and then to come right back again. What's fascinating, what's really interesting about this is as I do this, I no longer get that pinch in the front. Instead, I get just a good stretch, just a good pull in the back right through my Achilles tendon 
which is where we would want this stretch to be. That tells me that the mobilization is effective. It's keeping the bones in the right place as I, uh, as I lunge and as I lean over my toe, just like this. And so what I would recommend that you do is, if hopefully that's your case as well, hopefully that doesn't grab in the front anymore, what you can do is about 10 repetitions, again about three to five seconds holds on this, just over and over as we mobilize that ankle. And then what I always like to do in my clinic is we'll come out of that mobilization and then let's put the foot back up on there and let's do another one of these lunges without that band on there. And that still feels good. I actually feel like I have a little more mobility with that. It's still the stretch in the back. It's not the grab, it's not the pinch in the front. And so I could do about 10 more mobilizations with this. And then what I always like to do is you can come back and you can reassess and see what kind of difference that we made. I think that I was like four or five. I'm gonna put this at five inches now and see if I can get into, so you'll see, oh, I'm still just, so now I'm just barely touching the wall. There's just a slight pinch there in the front tells me that that was effective. I could probably spend some more time doing those. So that's the first thing that we want to do. We want to mobilize the ankle and help it to move normally. And then we're gonna get into some stretches. That's coming up next. Now that we've worked a little more mobility into our ankle, let's work on range of motion. Let's work on flexibility. These are four of my favorite stretches to do that. The first thing I'm gonna show you is a seated calf stretch. You're going to sit with your affected leg out in this position. We need a belt or a towel or a sheet or a rope, something that doesn't stretch. I'm going to loop that around the top of my foot, the ball of my foot, and then sit up nice and tall, really good posture, and then I'm going to pull those tails in here towards me. Now I like this stretch because it's non-weight bearing. I can control exactly how much stretch is happening by how much pull I have with my hands, especially good if you recently injured your ankle. This is one of my favorites. You should feel that right up here in your calf. You're gonna get it right here behind your knee. And then the last trick that I like to show people is sit up with really good posture and then lean your torso forward slightly. And that's even gonna sneak it up into the hamstring. So we basically get the entire length of the back of the leg with one really great stretch. I would hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat that three times. Now the next stretch that I like is going to be a stretch for your gastrocnemius and your soleus muscles. Your calf is actually two muscles. We need to stretch them separately. This is how we do it. Uh, you're gonna come to a wall, put your hands on a wall, put the affected leg or the leg we're trying to stretch back behind you. Now with my knee straight, I'm gonna keep my heel glued to the floor and then just lunge, push my weight, push my hips forward towards my front foot. And so it looks just like that. I'm going to lean into the wall until I just get a really good, comfortable stretch. Most people feel that up here a little higher in their calves and right up here behind their knee. And what I like to do is hold that for about 20 seconds and then we're gonna alternate that with a soleus stretch. And so now bring your foot just a little closer to the wall, get into the same position, but now I'm gonna have you unlock your knee. So now I have a slight bend here in this back knee, and as I push my weight towards the wall, or as I lean onto that front foot, you should feel that stretch a little bit lower. For me, that's right down in that Achilles tendon, and I know that that's where my limitation is. That's that left ankle again. That's, that's right where I need to work, is right on this one. And so I would hold that for about 20 seconds, and then what I like to do is alternate between the gastroc and the soleus stretch, knee bent, knee straight. And then the last stretch is going to be a little more dynamic. Um, we're also going to include some strengthening with this. What we're gonna do is come to a stair. Um, I'm gonna put the balls of both of my feet right up on that stair. And honestly, even for me to just stand in this position, that's a really great stretch to the back of my legs. Right now, my toes are well above my ankles. And for me to just hang out right here, feels good, feels comfortable, it's a really great stretch. What I would do is spend five or so seconds in this bottom position. Now I'm gonna come up as high as I can into this heel raise and then spend about three to five seconds lowering, so nice and slow on that lowering phase. Sit down here for about five seconds again, come up out of it, and then nice and slow down one more time. So we kind of treat it like a stretch 
and a mobilization and a strengthening exercise, that ankle is kind of getting all of those with just this one simple move. And what I like to do on this one is typically about 15 to 20 reps and then repeat that three times. Now, if you're looking for more great help with your ankle, check out this video right here. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan, hit the circle. I'd love to see you back for future videos. Hope this helps. Hope to see you again soon.